हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आशीष सैनी फ्रॉम इनोवेट योर सेल्फ वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वंस अगेन आई एम बैक विद अनदर सेशन ऑन रासा चैट बॉट विद टू पॉइंट ओ एंड इन टूडे सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट हाउ यू कैन इंटीग्रेट रासा चैट बॉट विद व्हाट्सएप दैट मीन्स यू कैन नाउ इंटीग्रेट योर ओन चैट बॉट दैट यू हैव क्रिएटेड फॉर द ऑटोमेशन पर्पज एंड नाउ दैट विल बी ऑन व्हाट्सएप सो दैट एनी बडी कैन टॉक टू योर चैट बॉट ऑन व्हाट्सएप साउंड्स इंटरेस्टिंग राइट so this is all that we are going to learn today now let's straight forward go to the project and let's understand how we can do that part all right so you can see this is a project which we have already covered in one of my previous session and there i have already shown you how you can build your chatbot with the latest version of rasa which is rasa 2.0 and the upgraded versions so this is all that you have done over there and with that you have made some of the stories you have used forms and everything so you have done everything with that now it's time to move ahead and let's understand how we can integrate that with whatsapp so for that we are going to use one of the tool that is known as the twilio and whatsapp is not directly available to connect with the rasa chatbot so that's why we are going to use a third party which is named as twilio and with respect to that we will be connecting it to the chatbot through whatsapp so this is all that we are going to cover so for that firstly the first requirement is that you must have a chatbot already ready with you so that we can directly set up that chatbot with the whatsapp so this is how we are going to do that so for that let me first go to the browser and on the browser you can see like i already have one of the project ready with me but i will show you everything from scratch so that at least you can also start doing from the beginning right so this is all that i'm going to do now so on the top you can see there are multiple options there are multiple projects it is showing to me but in your case if you are using it for the first time then there will not be any new project you can directly go and click on this button which is create new project so the same thing i am going to do it for you so that at least i can show you everything from scratch right so just click on create new project and let's start by creating a new project so let's give it a name let's say rasa whatsapp automation right so this is a name that i'm giving to my chatbot so just click verify okay so now here you are having two options like first is the email id email id is automatically confirmed just because i have already logged into twilio with my email id right so that's why it is uh, it is not asking me for the email id now it is going to ask you for your phone number now you have to click the phone number and you have to verify so let me just add the number and let's verify it and click on verify so now it will send you a verification code on your mobile number so that you can enter that code and just submit it over here right so it has sent me the number so let me just enter it and submit okay oh ashish any welcome to twilio right so this is all about this which twilio product are you have for using so let's say i'm here for the sms part what do you plan to build with and let's say ivr and bots so this you can select as per your suitability so it's not compulsory that you have to use these options only but it's up to you and up to your business model that why you want to use this twilio uh, for your chatbot right so this is totally up to you how do you want to build with twilio with code with minimal code with no code at all with minimal code let's say for now right so let's uh, continue now what is the preferred programming okay just click on python if in case that is required otherwise uh, currently we will not require any programming languages so in that case you can click on this option as well with no code at all so it will not ask you for this option right so this is all about it would you like to tell you to host your code uh, let's say no and continue all right so now you can see i have created a new project and the project is set up over here with me right and initially they will provide you a trial balance which is like 15.50 dollars so that you can test your bot uh, with this amount right because 
Twilio is not only providing you to connect uh, to WhatsApp through the SMS, it will also provide you to connect to your chatbot through the calling purpose. So you are having multiple options, but currently we are using a feature which is the chatting purpose. So that is what I'm using right now. And also you can see in here, it is giving you two options or let's say two uh, tokens. First is the account SID and the second one is the auth token. So we need both of this so that we can add it to the chatbot and we can link our chatbot to WhatsApp through Twilio. So this is what I'm going to do. So firstly, just do one thing, just copy this, copy account SID and go to the project, go to credentials in here, just paste it over here. Like uh, you have to write something like this, like Twilio colon account underscore SID auth underscore token and Twilio number. So this is all that we have to add. Firstly, I have added the account SID. Similarly, copy the auth token, just paste it here. And similarly, the Twilio number that we will specify over here. And let me show you from where you will get it, right? So this is all that I have done from here. Similarly, now click on this option, all products and services. Now click on programmable messaging. And now go in here, try it out. And in here, you can see there are two options. Try SMS, try WhatsApp. Right now we are connecting it to WhatsApp. So just click on try WhatsApp. All right. It is asking me activate your sandbox. I agree. Show me my sandbox. Just click on confirm. All right. So you can see now like set up your testing sandbox. So firstly, we have to set up this with respect to this. Now you have to send a message on this number and that message will be join metal hyphen rising in your case maybe this will be something else but in my case it is asking me to send this message currently right so this is what i'm doing just copy this and send this on this number right and in my case i already have it so you can see it's like this just send the message over here join metal hyphen rising right so this is all about this and now you can copy this now you can see like you are all set. The sandbox can now send and receive messages from WhatsApp. So just copy this thing, right? WhatsApp colon and the number. So just copy this and paste it over here, right? Paste it, right? So this is all that I have done now. After that, go back to Twilio. You can see message received, right? Now click on the next option. Now two way messaging. Now configure your sandbox. And after that, here you can see there is an option when a message comes in where it should be sent to, right? So this is a complete HTTP link, right? So we have to change it. And what exactly we have to send over here? Let me show you for that. Firstly, I have to make my chatbot available for global purpose. And currently I'm going to do it through ngrock. And I have already shown you in one of my previous video that how you can use ngrock and how you can make your chatbot uh, global for everyone to use, right? So this is all that I'm going to do. And for that, let me do it here. And firstly, you have to go to the terminal and on that terminal, just go to the location where you have your ngrock setup. And after that, you just have to type this command hyphen slash ngrock HTTP space 5005 which is the port number for your chatbot right now press enter and here it will generate two links for you first one is the http and the second one is the https currently we need the https just because we are making a secure connection and that is also a global one so that's why i'm going to consider this one so just copy this and paste this over here after that you have to type next thing it's like web hooks slash Twilio slash webhook. So this is a complete URL that you have to specify. You have to type over here, right? Uh, and don't worry about the link or don't worry about this complete URL. I will leave a link in the description or I will also mention it over here in the code. Let me just uh, make a comment for this, right? Let's make a comment and oh, no, not like this. 
okay so this is all about it in your case this one will be something else and rest of the things will be same like i have did right so this is all about this and after that the final step is to just save it once everything is done once everything is running now the next thing is that we have to run our chatbot and that chatbot will be running from here go to the terminal first run this command rasa run hyphen m models hyphen hyphen enable hyphen api double hyphen cores star hyphen hyphen debug so this is uh, what i am doing with which my chatbot will be running and also that will be running as a global server or let's say as a global chatbot that you can access from anywhere all across the world right so this is all about it press enter and uh, let it start and also the second thing is that you have to run the action server and you know how to run it rasa run actions so this is what i am doing right now and wait for it to finish now all right so now you can see rasa server is up and running and also the action server is running now you can go to the whatsapp and you can start talking to your bot because everything is running and now you can talk to your bot right go to whatsapp in here let's say hey now wait for the chatbot to reply can you see hey how are you this time i didn't do anything i was just waiting for the reply and you have got the reply now hey how are you so let's say i'm sad here is something to cheer you up can you see the image this is the same image that you can get when you will create a very basic chatbot with rasa so this is all about that so i hope now you have got an idea that how you can integrate your whatsapp with rasa chatbot and how you can make your chatbot global with whatsapp so this is all about it and if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do click on the subscribe button and also you can press the bell icon if you don't want to miss any updates from my channel so till then bye bye and happy learning